carries off tonight, a massive home fire is bringing the valley's rapid growth under the microscope. And as homes continue to be built farther away from services, utilities and first responders are hampered from responding in an emergency. Yesterday's custom home fire quickly became a two-alarm blaze when firefighters had trouble getting water. No one was injured. Tonight, that home, though, is a complete loss. Channel 8 Eyewitness News is live. Allison McCarthy looked at the water issue. Allie. Yeah, Paula, owner builders out here say they knew they were taking a risk when they decided to build on the outskirts in a rural area where they knew that planned fire hydrants were still years away. As it turns out, if this fire had happened just two weeks later, a new hydrant going in directly across the street, well, maybe it could have helped firefighters battle back those giant flames faster. The Henderson Fire Department says crews were on the scene of this house fire within five minutes, but precious minutes were lost as crews searched for an available water supply. We did find one hydrant to be dry, and then we did also uh, run into the fact that the pressures are low up here. Turns out the closest working hydrant was nearly 1,600 feet away. A second alarm was sounded, and Clark County crews responded with extra engines to start boosting water uphill using several fire hoses connected end to end. Had this fire happened even two weeks later, Henderson's utility Utilities director says the city's expanded pipeline would have been up and operating. There's a fire hydrant almost right across the street on that new pipeline that will be available in two weeks that wasn't available yesterday. So unfortunately, the timing of this is, just didn't work out very well. Like most of the homeowners up here, Mike Frieda is on a well system and built his house more than 10 years ago before building codes required home sprinkler systems. Frieda says he's glad the hydrants are finally going in. Way overdue, and yes, we're very happy. We feel much safer. It's a sin about the log cabin. Given the log cabin structure of the home, Henderson's fire chief says it's doubtful the house could have been spared even if this hydrant had been working yesterday. Frieda says that is a risk that he and other home builders knew they were taking when they decided to build on the outskirts of the city. All of us did everything we could when we built our houses. We put five ace fire rated drywall in. But with an hour fire rating, we did everything we could to make sure that it was as safe as we could. But we all knew we were pioneers and we were stepping out and if we got bit by the snake, we were going to go down. And unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. Neighbors have been driving by all long, all day long today to say how beautiful this house was. The roof had actually come from a 100-year-old church, but like the rest of the house, it was made entirely of wood, also burned hot and fast. We also know tonight that fire started in the basement where residents uh, say they were working on motorcycles and some spilled gasoline ignited. Live from Henderson, I'm Allison McCarthy, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.